Hello, good morning, everyone, and a very warm welcome to today's 1.1 Nurse Meditation Session. For those of you that are here for the first time, my name is Matthew, and I'm part of the One Point team. Um, the idea for these sessions came about a year ago um, because a lot of us at One Point have a regular daily meditation practice that we find extremely and the idea came that it would be really nice to share insights about meditation and positive thinking and subjects around that area with a wider audience. And so 1.1ness was born. And over the last year, we've been very fortunate to have experienced meditation practitioners uh, with us as guest speakers. And today is no exception. <laughs> I'm very Delighted to welcome Denise. Denise, a very warm welcome to you. Uh, Denise is joining us from, from Munich. So a little bit of, of background on Denise. Denise has been a student and teacher at the Brahma Kumaris World Spiritual University for the past 46 years. She established and coordinated BK centers in Germany, Canada, and the USA during the 1970s and 80s. A writer and broadcaster, Denise coordinated the Overseas Communication Center at Godlywood Studio at the Brahma Kumaris headquarters in Mount Abu, India from 2010 to 2020. She previously spent seven years preparing a diploma course in education in values and spirituality which is now being taught at several universities in India and Asia. Her novel, Sayamaki, Fighting With Your Shadow, was published in India in 2017 and also translated into German. She's a prolific internet presence and offers classes internationally through YouTube, Zoom, blog, and podcast. And actually will include, you've probably seen those links are included in the description under the YouTube window. Living in Germany now, Denise travels widely offering seminars, lectures, retreats on subjects related to spirituality, meditation, the convergence of spiritual and psychological inner work. So Denise, <laughs> quite a resume. And uh, today's session, cultivating your meditation practice. So I'll, I'll hand over to you and looking forward to the session. Hello, Matthew, and thank you so much. That is really delightful to be here with everyone today. Um, one point is um, a very interesting concept, and it is a concept that you see in geometry. The definition of a point is that there is no length, <clears throat> no breadth, no width, no depth, and no thickness. So it is impossible to represent a point in the material world. And this is what makes it so helpful in spiritual practice, because the soul itself is described as having the form of a point. Uh, that means that you can think about it, you can conceptualize it. We have in our consciousness different capacities. And one of them is to conceptualize something on the base of a description that we cannot see visually. So this description of a point is just a wonderful bridge to go from the world of matter, of tangible reality, to the world of the spirit, which is intangible. And you kind of make that crossing through a point. And this is also, um, connected with photography. In the early days of photography, they would have what's called a camera obscura. And uh, it was found that if you put a little point, 
a little hole and you look through that hole, you see what's on one side, upside down on the other side. And so this is all connected with the science of optics. But spirituality <clears throat> uses the idea of vision also. And you hear this expression, the third eye. So our two eyes are these extraordinary items that we have that enable us to perceive a visual phenomena through this tiny little hole uh, in, the, in the pupil. And uh, all of that is transferred to the brain. And from the brain, it's transferred to consciousness, which is not part of the physical world. So there's this big question of how do you find the interface, the bridge between the physical and the spiritual worlds? And to me, this point is the key. <clears throat> Excuse me. So today, um, I'm going to talk about cultivating your meditation practice. And that means that we are using different aspects of consciousness to develop our ability to be focused. And of course, a point is ideal for focusing. And we will be um, on one hand in the everyday world of sights and sounds and events and so on. And we will use our understanding and information to detach from that <clears throat> by a simple act of will. You decide, okay, now I'm going to shift my consciousness, my focus of attention from the material everyday world to the spiritual world, which is the inner world. And so we have to practice turning within. And all of this is to do with thought, how we use thought. And thought is produced by the mind. The mind is so subtle. <clears throat> Everyone has a mind, but... Um, you never seen one. You don't know what it looks like. You don't know if it's a thing or not. You know, it's a noun, definitely, but it's more like a capacity, a capability to perceive directly with the mind something that you cannot necessarily perceive or that you cannot definitely perceive using a sense perception. So the mind, in a way, is an organ of perception of the soul. To be able to perceive yourself and to be able to see the higher power, the source, the force, the supreme soul, God. Why and do we want to do that? <clears throat> Well, people want to know who they are. Do you know who you are? <laughs> Probably not. Um, because it's very subtle, it's very deep. Who are you? Who are you really? And what is your connection with the divine? And why is it important to have a connection with the divine? And your meditation practice is about creating a line like a laser beam between either self, the point, and that other point of light which lies beyond. So how do we do this? The first step always is to make a decision. The decision, okay, now I'm going to set aside some time and energy for meditation. <clears throat> and you can see that you become a little 
slowed down because the world of pure thought is not the fast world of everyday life. It's quiet, introspective, and much slower. We want to create a flow of pure thoughts. Thoughts that are true regardless of time, space, and events. So the first thought is that I am a being of light. You affirm that thought in your mind. Create a mental picture of a point of light. You have the picture of your face, but that's like, you know, a mask. Behind the mask is this tiny, infinitesimally small point of light. And everything that is my being is contained in that point of light. All my history, my future, my essence. And this point of light that I am has a role contained inside it. Whatever I do, and my script is there and I perform it. But step aside from the script, whatever it is, good, bad, or indifferent, it is what it is. But I am the point. Focus your attention internally was this thought that I am a point of light, a being, bodiless, genderless, colorless, pure point of consciousness. Feel the qualities connected with that point. The point is essentially still. Everything in the material world is moving, but the point of the soul, detached from the consciousness of the body, returns to stillness. Feel yourself to be detached from the world of matter. Deep inside yourself, the still point of light. Take your time to go deep. Mind flutters like a butterfly and is easily distracted. But again and again return to the point of light that is I, the soul. <clears throat> Is 
It's important to take time to reach this quiet, still place of introspection. and detachment. Then turn your focus of attention to the higher being, the Supreme Soul, the Source. the source of the energy of life, the energy of spirituality, the energy of inner power, love, peace, light. You need that. So now go to the source, a point of light. Far beyond the material cosmos. There is a dimension of light, stillness, Silence. Go there in your mind. See a region of infinite light. And in that light, you find the source, the point, a tiny diamond-like point of intense light. Completely still and stable. Hold your mind steady, focused on that point of light. And a beam of light forms between yourself, the light, and that point of light. You look on to that light and the energy of spiritual light starts to flow through a ray of light. And pulsations of spiritual energy begin to flow. Keep yourself totally open to receive the light, the energy. Those pulsations of spiritual strength. You are completely connected beyond distractions, feeling the light the power, the presence of the one who loves you.
you are not alone in the universe. This being of light is always with you. Caring, supporting, guiding, present for you. just a thought away. Your heart is inside your point of light. Your heart that may be injured, broken, hurt. Open your heart to that light. And let that healing, quiet resonance Restore you to the essence of who you are. All the broken parts of yourself become healed. The disintegrated soul is reintegrated. That light contains a resonance of pure love that realigns and resets your being. You are focused, steady, stable, and you feel the light within you intensifying. You feel your being becomes brighter, clearer. You understand something about what it means to be myself. Negativity, shadows, corrosion of the soul melts away in the intense focus of this light. You feel rejuvenated. Almost as if you are someone else. A new person. Your old stuff falls away. no longer drives 
your feelings and behavior. You are the real you. The pure, peaceful, loving, blissful, empowered being of light. It is easy to stay focused as you feel that stream of energy coursing into your being through that steady, stable ray of light. pulsations of energy reaching you and you drink that energy which fills the empty places in your being you feel strong true real that flow of light and power fills you and passes through you filling the atmosphere around you that energy impacts the place where you are. The things, the machines, the people. And gently you bring yourself back to the everyday world. Return to your connection with your body and you see how you feel good inside restored and ready to deal with whatever is next. So, thank you. Ah, I did not want to come out of that one. <laughs> I was very much enjoying uh, I wouldn't, yeah, when you said uh, start to come back, I suddenly looked at the time and thought, oh gosh, yes. So uh, a really wonderful session. I really feel that's, that's one I want to go and uh, watch again. And um, I really, uh, I mean, it was a fan fascinating intro talk as well. But um, I'll keep this brief just due to time, but I really felt um, the patience and space you created in that meditation. And I was thinking, gosh, I need to, you know, take, take that time really to, to slow down and reconnect. It's, I mean, it's easy to rush into the meditation. It's just mind is, is working at such a fast pace. So thank you for creating that wonderful space for patience and, and healing and rejuvenation. 
Thank you, Matthew. My pleasure. <laughs> and, and thanks to everybody for, for joining today. Um, wonderful to have you with us. And um, you'll see some links in the YouTube chat. So we're always very happy to get your feedback and suggestions for future sessions. And as I always say, you know, please do share um, the live links to the meditations, but also the recordings you'll find on the Oneness webpage and here on the YouTube channel. Uh, such a wonderful resource. And, um, uh, you know, it's, it's our belief that really everybody and anybody can benefit from uh, meditation practice these days. So please do share generously with your your connections, your friends, family, and colleagues. So um, that's all from us for today. And um, I'm just having a look at next week's session. And we'll be joined by Indu Guliani, another experienced meditator who's going to be covering peace of mind in a busy world. So a good connection there. So thanks again to everyone. Thanks to Denise. And we'll see you again soon.